All right, guys, so let's talk about how we're gonna lay this view out before we get started coding. So uh, one of the first things I want us to notice is that we wanna be inside of a navigation stack, and that's so we can go back and forth between our login and sign up views. So let's go ahead and start this off by doing that. We're gonna place this whole thing inside of a navigation stack. And next up, we notice that we have just a vertically stacked set of components here, so we're gonna put this inside of a V stack or put the V stack inside the navigation stack. And then let's just do a quick layout. We're gonna have our logo image. We're gonna have our text fields. We're gonna have our forgot password. Uh, then we're gonna have our login button, Facebook login, and sign up link. So this is basically the layout of our view. Now let's go ahead and get started with actually implementing our code. So let's start with our logo image. We're gonna create an image here and I already have this file in my assets folder, guys, as we can see here. Now you guys can either, uh, either go ahead and download this image from Google just from doing a search as well as the Facebook icon or if you guys want access to the completed source code, you can head over to my website at stephancodes.com and in the YouTube courses section, you will find this Messenger Swift UI guy. Now to get access to this page, you do have to become a member on my site. Any one of these membership plans will get you access to that for as low as five bucks a month. Uh, the most popular plan we have right now is our diamond membership plan where it gets you access to everything on the site for just 40 bucks a month. That includes all of the YouTube courses, all of the pre, uh, pre-built pre source code templates that we see here on the source code page. So it's literally thousands of dollars of value for 40 bucks a month. And it also gives you access to the pro courses as well. So uh, make sure you guys check that out on my website at stephancodes.com if you want access to the source code and a bunch of other awesome material. So let's go ahead and hop back into the code now that I've done my shameless plug. And we're gonna go here and say dot resizable dot scaled to fit dot frame width and height width and height of 150 by 150 and then we are going to give it some padding okay next up we are going to create our text fields and we are going to put this inside of another v stack guys so we can control the individual spacing between these items talk more about that in a second let's just go ahead and create these guys it's going to say enter your email and then we oop, i want a text field not a text and then we need to create a state property to manage our text field text. So we're gonna say state private var email equals a blank string. And then let's create another one for our password. And go ahead and pass this in here. Uh, let's see, email. And then we're gonna create a secure field. Enter your password. text as password. And we will come back in just a little bit and uh, do all the modifications to these to make it look nice and pretty. Let's just go ahead and continue on with the rest of the screen. So we're going to create a button here. Uh, oops, we want a button with an action and a label. Here we can just say print forgot password. And our label is going to be a text that says forgot password question mark it's going to be a footnote font oops font weight is dot semi bold dot padding dot top dot padding dot trailing of 28 pixels and then guys we are going to give this a maximum width frame and set the alignment to leading so that it shoves it all the way over to the right side of our screen. So on the button itself, just go ahead and here and say dot frame max width dot infinity alignment dot trailing. And this is a nice little trick to get a view over to one side of the screen without having to use like H stacks and spacers and stuff like that or Z stacks. So really useful here. I use that all the time. Now let's go ahead and create our login button. So we're gonna say another button, 
action label uh, print handle login and here are we're just gonna have a text that says login and we will add our modifier to make it look nice and pretty in just a little bit let's go ahead and just continue on with the rest of the view just to really get our skeleton down here and in our Facebook login guy, we're going to create an H stack and we're basically just going to create two rectangles uh, and sandwich that text in between them. So here is what that's going to look like. We're going to say rectangle dot frame UI. Uh, we want to make the width UI screen dot main dot bounds dot width divided by two. And we want to wrap this in parentheses, guys. So just go ahead and put that inside of some parentheses and then say minus 40. And then we are going to make the height 0 0.5. So that looks good. And then we are going to add a text that says or dot font is dot footnote dot font weight dot semi bold and then we're just going to add this rectangle after that guy as well and that looks pretty good and then just go ahead at the end of the h stack guys and make the foreground color dot gray and that's going to give it that nice grayed out look and next up we're going to have this uh facebook continue with facebook option so we are going to make another H stack for that image. And once again, this is inside of my assets folder already. You guys can go and get this yourself or download the source code if you want access to all of the assets and the completed source code right away. And then say dot resizable dot frame with 20 height 20. So it looks good. And then we're going to say text continue with Facebook dot font dot footnote dot font weight is semi bold dot foreground color is color dot system blue. All right, so that's looking pretty good guys. And let's just go ahead and give this guy a padding on the top of eight pixels just to space that out a little bit and then after that we are going to add a spacer and that's going to sort of shove everything up to the top and then uh, we are going to add our sign up link down here so let's go ahead and create a navigation link we are just going to use the destination and label option some of you might be asking hey why don't you use the updated dot navigation destination modifier and the answer for that is because this is not a value based navigation, right? This is just a button that we want to take us from one screen to the next. We're not passing any sort of data around. There is no value linked to this. So this is why the, this has not been deprecated. This is still a valid option to use as a navigation link. For those of you who might be wondering why we're not using that um, updated dot navigation destination modifier. So here we can just say text, sign up view. And our label is going to be an H stack spacing of three pixels. Text don't have an account. And then we can just say text sign up. Oops, uh, dot font weight dot semi bold. And then the overall font on this is going to be a font of dot footnote. And that looks really good, right guys? Um, and then after the spacer, guys, go ahead and just add a divider to get that um, right up there. And then on the navigation link itself or on the label itself, it shouldn't matter, just say dot padding of dot vertical. And that should give it some nice space right there. So that looks really, really good, right? And we notice that if we click on this, it will take us over to our sign up view. And we're going to get started with building that in just a little bit. 
what I want us to do now is go through the process of making all of this stuff nice and pretty. So we need to fix some of the spacing and uh, we need to add some modifiers to our text fields and buttons and stuff to make it look like our final product here. Uh, first thing I want us to do, however, is we notice that this is in the, sort of like the middle of the screen. Um, we wanna go inside of our V stack and add a spacer at the top as well. So that's just gonna like sandwich everything into the middle, which is what we want there. And next up guys, I want us to work on building out these uh, this text field modifier. So uh, really quickly, we're gonna go here and just say uh, dot font, dot subheadline, dot padding is 12 pixels, dot background is going to be color, dot system gray six. And then we're gonna give it a corner radius of 10 pixels and a horizontal padding of 24 pixels. And let's see how that looks. So that looks really good. And we can go ahead and copy this and paste it here as well. And that looks good to me. So um, we can now move on to setting up our button. So let me just take a look at my code really quickly to make sure we get this right. And let's go ahead and get started. So we are gonna say dot font is dot subheadline, dot font weight is dot semi bold, dot foreground color is dot white, dot frame width is gonna be 360, height is going to be 44, dot background color, dot system blue, dot corner radius of 10 pixels. So let's see how that looks. Okay, that looks pretty good to me. So this is really starting to come together now. And I think we're gonna wanna just add some padding, some vertical padding on this button, guys. Yeah, so let's go here and say dot padding, dot vertical, just to get some nice spacing um, between all of our components there. And I wanna come back to why we added our text fields inside of a separate VStack, guys. And that's because now what we can do is if you wanted to, you could control the spacing between these two components with this spacing modifier on your VStack. So however much spacing you want between your text fields, you could now control it because it's inside of its own VStack. So that's a nice tip that I use all the time. Anytime you have like uh, components that are stacked on top of each other and you want custom spacing between just those two things, just wrap it inside of another VStack. So um, we can leave it as is. I just wanted to point that out as a nice tip there. But that's gonna do it for our login setup, guys, or login view UI. Next up, we're gonna be creating our uh, sign up UI and it's gonna be even more simple than our login UI and we're gonna be able to reuse a lot of this stuff, which is gonna be nice. So get excited for that, guys. We will see you there.